hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be sharing some cleaning hacks with you all i don't normally post these kinds of videos but when i watch other people's videos like this i find them so therapeutic and i also love getting a new way to get something looking pristine through cleaning it so i'm just going to talk you through all the different cleaning hacks that i have found that work for me if you have any cleaning hacks of your own i would love for you to comment down below in my description box and then you can share your cleaning experiences and hacks with other people watching this video too. If you're new here, I would love for you to press that subscribe button down below. Like I said, I don't post loads of these videos at all, but if you give me a thumbs up and you like them, then I will definitely include more in the future. So with all that said, I'm just going to jump straight on into this video and share about 10 different cleaning hacks with you guys. The first cleaning hack I wanted to share with you is how to clean your slatted blinds really easily. So I find that if I use a normal microfiber cloth on my blinds and the dust doesn't get picked up like completely. So what I have found is that if I use a tumble dryer sheet on my blinds and every Every single bit of dust gets picked up perfectly. Another thing I like to do is I like to get some cooking tongs and I like to wrap a tumble dryer sheet around each tong. Then I can go into the blind with my tong, squeeze it together and run it along the slatted blind. This way I find I can do the top and the underneath of each slat really quickly and easily. Next up, I wanted to share a few different ways of how I found using distilled vinegar around my home to get things looking really, really great. I find distilled vinegar great on stains, on odors, and also on lime scale too. As you can see, we have got a few stains on our carpet. So what I like to do is I like to get some distilled vinegar and dab it onto the stain with a cloth. I then leave it there for five minutes and soak it away with some warm water. Once the area has then dried, I find the stain has been completely removed. Next up, if you have kids that play football or sport or a husband like mine that plays football, you will find that their kit absolutely stinks. So what I like to do with Chris's kit every, say, once a week or once every 10 days is I like to put half a capful of distilled vinegar into the wash with his kit. This really lifts all of those stinky, sweaty odors from his kit as well as the boys' football kit and it comes out smelling just like normal washing. To get your taps and hobs and sinks nice and sparkly, what I find the best thing to do is mix up one teaspoon of salt, half a cup of distilled vinegar, and enough flour to make this into a paste. Once a paste has been formed, I then really generously coat the paste onto my taps and my hob. I leave the paste on there for 15 minutes and then I'll rinse this off with some clean water as well as polishing it with a soft cloth. As you can see my before and afters here, everything just comes out looking so clean and sparkly. So you know sometimes when you look at your toilet, it's got a sort of like brown um, stains at the bottom. I think that's just lime scale build up. What you want to do is you want to get one cup of distilled vinegar and a quarter cup of baking soda. If you want to, you can also add in four drops of essential oils in there as well, but that's completely optional. You want to pour this mixture into your toilet, spread the mixture around your toilet and leave it there for 15 minutes. You then want to flush your toilet and clean it again with the cleaning brush. And as you can see, all of those brown marks have been removed. So living down here in Brighton, our water is really, really hard. And I can really tell that we get a big buildup in our dishwasher and around all of our taps. So what I found that really, really helps is to get a little bowl and I fill it halfway up with some distilled vinegar and I pop it into my dishwasher. Now you can do this with a full dishwasher, but I do like to run it on an empty dishwasher just because otherwise I find like my plates and cups and glasses do have a slight smell of vinegar. But once this has done one empty cycle, the next cycle has no odor whatsoever. While the cycle is on, the vinegar is just cleaning all of the pipes. It's taking out any lime scale that's built up over time. And when you open up your dishwasher, it just is so sparkly clean with all of that lime scale removed. While we're on the subject of dishwashers, I just wanted to share with you a couple of things that I actually clean in my dishwasher, as well as my plates and cups and glassware. Every 
once a month or so, I like to pop items into my dishwasher that I feel need a really, really good clean. There are so many different items you can put into your dishwasher. Lego, if you have kids, is a massive one as I just feel like it's a complete breeding ground for germs. So if I put in some of my kids' toys, I do like to put it into a little bag so nothing obviously gets caught in the system. I also like to put in my hairbrush as well. So I obviously take out any hair from my hairbrush first, but then I'll pop the hairbrush into my dishwasher and it just gets completely disinfected. You can also add things in here like flip-flops, but for me, I feel like that's going a little bit too far because those flip-flops have been walking the streets. Lastly, I wanted to share three different ways that you can use Lenore Unstoppables around your home to make it smell amazing. The first way is to hoover them up in your hoover. By doing this, anytime you get your hoover out to clean your home, you will notice a lovely smell coming out of your hoover. Secondly, if your boys play football or any sports and have stinky shoes, pop some Lenore Unstoppables into the shoes overnight. And then in the morning when you empty the Unstoppables out, you will notice the odor has completely gone. Lastly, once you've cleaned your kitchen bin, you just want to add half a capful of Unstoppables to the bottom of your bin and you will notice that every time you go to your bin now, it won't have a horrible smell. Instead, it will only smell of Lenore Unstoppable tablets. So those are the cleaning hacks I wanted to share with you all. I do have more cleaning hacks up here. So if you want to see some more, like I said, give me a thumbs up on this video so I know you enjoyed it and then I can do another video just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.